Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Dagobah Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here, and today I'm joined by James Ritter. Hey, guys. We're ready for day two top cut. That's right. Now, this weekend has been a fundraiser for Vandercook College of Music's One City String Program. If you haven't been watching, or maybe you're watching later on YouTube, let me give you a second and tell you what that is. It is a program for, for kids around uh, in the south side of Chicago, where the school is, to bring them in and give them musical instruction on string instruments for completely for free, including... A free instrument and if they're able to stick with the program to uh, they graduate eighth grade they get to keep a full-size instrument at the end of the program which is absolutely amazing super excited to see um, you know that that program continue to flourish and really start to grow especially with us um, you know with with the situation with COVID starting to improve here in Chicago uh, really excited to see that program grow and we have hit at this point in time six thousand eighty five dollars and seventeen cents and yes that seventeen cents is not an accident by the way so if you want to give you can type exclamation point donate or or if you're watching later on on YouTube, there is a link at the top of the description. Thank you to everybody who has given. Uh, thank you so much. All right. So, James, let's go ahead and break down this matchup. Because it is time for our audience to choose their champion. If you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Put it in the comments down below. All right. For your bet one all champion, we have Reese James uh, as player one on the left here. He is running a scum list of Tarani Kolda in the Kimogila with Snapshot, R5, TK, and Contraband Cybernetics. So Tarani Kolda allowing her to get uh, extra damage off in her bullseye after she attacks someone, unless they remove a green token. So like auto damage is really good, and Snapshot able to proc that multiple times around. Uh, Partnered up is Lando Calrissian in the uh, customized YT-1300 with a whole host of upgrades, including Protectorate Gleb, Orlom, BT-1 Droid, False Transponder Codes, Engine Upgrade, and Lando's Falcon Title. That is a lot of upgrades. Makes for a very interesting build. It's like a pseudo support, but also has damage. It, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm interested to see how he'll use this one because there's, a, there's a lot of rerolls there. There's a four long. There's a gleb. Like, what is he? What's he doing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, and to round up the list, we have Asajj Ventress with Sense, Zam Wessel Crew, Contraband Cybernetics, and the Shadow Caster Title. Huh. That is an interesting Asajj. Has the sense to get, let um. Tarani know where to put her bullseye and oh that's that's gonna be interesting that is an interesting one especially with the contraband and Zan oh man that's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting list for sure super fast and on the other side of the table their bet to all champion is Ty Harris this is actually his first GSP event and he made cut with whoop, whoop. a Ridiculous list. This Ray and Vinny. Resistance. So he's got Ray in the scavenged YT1300 with Corsella, Rose Tico, Finn, 
false transponder codes, shield upgrade, and raise Millennium Falcon. Uh, I will break down a little bit more of this later because uh, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, and Vinny is the uh, friend with Ray in the Star Fortress. We don't see these too often, but it's usually Vinny that we see. We got Trajectory Simulator, Pattern Analyzer, Perceptive Copilot, Veteran Turret Gunner, Pace Chico, Concussion Bombs, Thermal Detonators, and a Shield Upgrade. <sighs> a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> And we're already getting shots. Now, yeah, we got we got <laughs> shots here early in this game. Let's go and welcome to everybody who's watching. It is time for X-wing action. We're starting it off. All right, here's Ray. He's putting aside that blank for Finn. All right, so you have two blanks. Has the opportunity to spend one die. If you'd like for the Rose Tico target lock. It does. Gonna scoop up the lock. Probably holds on to it and maybe uses Ray's ability to flip the third one, or is he gonna use it right away? He's actually gonna use it to, to spend it. Alright. Oh, oh now well. now has the choice. <laughs> I mean if you were if you were willing to Okay, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so got the three. Really wanted the three, and is going to be getting some damage in early on Tarani. Remember, Tarani chose to barrel roll for their action, and because of that, losing two shields right off the bat, and a little bit more. Tarani does get to shoot back. Oh, I, I, I was worried about that one because of the angle that Tarani's at. Might not have been able to get it, but it looks okay. And, oh, blank out. <laughs> I mean, you were unlikely to do the damage there anyway, but what this does, it, it gives Ray an opportunity to set up a Rose Tico target lock. Yep. Man, Rose, Rose Tico is such an incredible crew. Throw that up on the screen again. Yep, Maybe. and uh, additionally, there you go. setting up that target lock also made it so that false transponder codes are now uh, are now oh, spent. They are, they, are, they are spent. I will go make sure that is. <laughs> Haminator in the chat says, "I'm confused." How did a two-ship resistance list that includes a bomber make the cut? Vin Vinny's good. And yeah. Ray's even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ray definitely does some carrying for sure. But, I mean, you can – with the – look at the amount of upgrades on that on that Vinny. I mean, there is so much there. And we, we got we to gotta break down that ability. <laughs> Right, so yeah. Vinny, Vinny, while you defend, if the attacker is in a friendly ship's turret arc, which both of these are turret ships, and also Vinny is a uh, friendly ship to himself, you may add one focus result to your roll. So, I mean, it, you have that perceptive co-pilot setting up that second, uh, that second focus token. That means that you know, with Veteran Turret Gunner, you are getting essentially plus one hit whenever attacking or when defending. It's only, one it's only on defense. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's only on defending. Um, yeah. But it does make so, Vinny very, yeah, very oh, sorry. tanky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So pl plus one evade for every single roll is really solid. It's, you know what it shows? You know what it shows? It shows um, that the reinforce action on the <laughs> on the Star Fortress probably would be make them competitive, right? Oh, like it's yeah. it's I, just I, that. I hundred percent hmm. agree. And you can do it. You can take the uh, what's it called? The car we never see anymore. Um, Something deflectors. Oh, yeah. Angle deflectors. You got it. Yeah, angle deflectors. There we go. Um, to where you lose a shield, but you're able... Oh, you know what? 
Can't use it. They outplay this. Small or medium. See? Yep, they're, they're trying to hold, <laughs> telling you, they're holding that Star Fortress down. They know. Oh, man. That would be so good on them, though. Because they're, yep. the, they're like the one of the one of the beefiest ships, um, but they don't have that reinforced that they, I think they really need. Mm-hmm. Or at least uh, they want but, it. Yeah, they really want it, yeah. Uh, but Billy still does have a lot of tools here. His trajectory simulator to launch a bomb has pattern analyzer to be able to s execute a red maneuver and still get an action. The perceptive to get her double focuses. Veteran turret gunner is very good with um, the star fortresses because you can put that turret to the front and do the primary three die attack and then a follow up turret attack. And you got Pace Chico. So after you perform a primary attack, you may drop a bomb or rotate your arc. Uh, so being able to maybe uh, get some better shots off or drop extra bombs. Mm -hmm. And also allows her to drop a bomb after she's destroyed. Yeah. So she, she's, get, she's getting those bombs off. Yep. Bo you want bombs? Yes, I have them. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some. Yeah. And then um, those concussion bombs. And thermal detonators. That's an interesting combo because the concussions, once mm -hmm. you drop them, you keep on dropping them. Yeah, you don't stop. And, and the thermals, you can drop multiple in a turn. So that's a very, that's, oof, that's very interesting. That's an interesting combo. And that shield upgrade, just an extra shield. All right. So Asajj looks like she undocks from the Falcon. <laughs> the positioning from before, it looked like she was attached to the Falcon uh, visually. Scooping up a target lock. I say escape craft, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so false transponder codes already spent on Ray, so nothing happening there. Deja Mu in the chat says, back in the Separatist Swarm meta, I flew Ray Vinny with Electro Proton Bomb. It's a mad lad. Mad lad, Deja Mu. I, I guess. It's just the weird... The Electro Proton is really good against shit with shields, so... Yep. Really good against shit with shields. And there you go. Lando Redox. I mean, for, for Reese... <laughs> <laughs> for Reese, it, this honestly seems like a... Uh, like a practice formation... Just a little uh, bit. Yeah, he he's is. keep he's keeping that. It's a very tight spacing between Asajj and Lando. Because Asajj's ability helps them both, uh, right? So uh, sets up the stress on an enemy ship, which then gives Lando an additional die because of the Lando Millennium Falcon title. Super solid. All right, we see Lando getting a lock on Ray. And using that false transponder code to get rid of Ray's lock. You know what would be interesting here if Ray did a three bank mm -hmm. the other way. Oh, bumps into Asajj. But I believe, is Asajj going to be able to um, use her ability? Is it? Isn't that one after? Oh, goodness. It's, it is zero to two. I was just wanted to check the range on it. Hey, what's up? Less Harry Justin. Thank you so much for the sub. Okay, yeah. Asajj is doing that, so I'll throw Asajj up there. Um, mm -hmm. She can spend, a, at the start of engagement, spend a force and choose a ship in your mobile arc. And that ship's gained one stress unless it removes a green token. So just giving, her, giving Ray another stress. Here's a roll from Ray. Ooh. Not great. I think you just... Scoop up a lock, right? Yeah, scoop up the lock. There you go. Calling for the lock. Four dice onto Tarani. And that extra focus over there, that's that's spent on the rose lock. Ooh, more focus actions. All 
All right, so yeah, you're left at one. I don't think it's worth spending the force right now. You're taking a lot of shots. You need that. Uh, you need Pretty that defensive defense. tokens. Yep. Man, those those came good with a seven hole. That's still a weird number. Oh, he's gonna leave it. Mm-hmm. Well, you got you got to push through one. It did squeak through. Ooh. No bullseye, just, but it's still range one. And Tarani throwing some fire here. Two hits and a crit looking at Ray. Ray will be adding that blank result. She does need to roll. Double blanks. And you spend one force and it can get one evade in there, but you're still taking a couple of shields on Ray. And then you just get your lock back. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ray is going to take the two there. Yeah, scum, scum and villainy right now is uh, is definitely looking a bit in command. Still a shot to go. Lando getting that additional die because of the stress. Debating whether he wants to take a stress in order to re-roll some blank results. That is Lando in the Falcons' ability. Oh, does he have a target lock? Yeah, oh, he had he, he had a target. He got the target lock scooped up. No need to stress yourself for that. And able to convert a couple, you got three. One's chained to a crit with BT1. And we await the roll. All right, so Ray can convert both of those. Res oh, no, she only got one force. Can only convert one of them. And is taking hit crit. That's going to be shields down on Ray. Say she got pretty lucky out of that engage. It, it like definitely could have been worse. Results. Yeah. It, it could have been worse, but... Uh, but yeah, the no evade results. You're hoping to be a little bit ahead there, lean on that ability and, and get something out of it. Ooh, now, I have some choices now here with Vinny. I think you end up probably going into Asajj or Tarani. Looks like we got a ping on Tarani. So this uh, is the three die primary attack. Here's the roll. Ooh, two hits. Spend the first focus for three. It is range three, so we'll have two dice here. Tarani has a focus. We'll spend it. Takes two damage. Down the three hull. Should be getting a veteran turret gunner trigger here. I would guess. And it looks like we are. One hit, one focus. Spends for two. Ooh. Natty evades. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> gotta, gotta love when you see the uh, the arrows spammed in the in the box. Like, yeah, yeah for the natties. It can either be a really good a really good spam or really bad spam. All righty. Nothing for Zam. Sad, for Zam. <laughs> Sad Zam. Sad Zam. All right, who do you, who do you think won that engagement? What are you thinking? Oh man, four shields on Ray, and she's not in a terrible position. I think it might have been Ray and Vinny. Ty Harris, I think, might have come out better on that one. 
that it's it's definitely it's definitely close. Um, Asajj not being able to shoot definitely hurt. Though you yeah, did a, you you did take away actions from Ray though, in exchange. Yeah, I, like like I was saying before, Ray moved. I, I, I was considering possibly doing a three. Oh no, it's, it's it's a two bank, right? It is the blue for the Falcons. Yep. Yeah, it could do in a two bank over the debris field to her left, and then boosting around it. Hmm. Okay. And then like just completely just like ignoring the engage like to now where these guys have to turn around and but they're all facing like the same direction that whether they're, they're not going to line up the right way all right and Vinny could just turn around and start <laughs> popping bombs out the back pop pop yeah but this is actually, yeah I, th I think it, i think it was a actually a pretty pretty decent engage for both players getting four shields getting all the shields off ray pretty important Um, Lando having the back arc, no matter what, is going to be cool because he's going to be able to get BT1 to change uh, for every sh uh, stress that Ray has a hit to a crit, mm -hmm. which is not great for Ray. No, there, no, with the there, shields there down. Are, yeah, uh, there are a couple of crits in there that Ray never wants to see. Blinded pilot <laughs> is feels bad. Blinded. Yeah. Um. What else? What else is like super bad? Just more stress. So. Um. The uh, loose stabilizer. I think I've always That's thought is is yeah. pretty bad one for rare. Or does this does this ray have Corsella? It sure does. It does, uh, have, it does have Corsella, but oh, it's after you, you remove all. What the? It's that's that's super good. <laughs> so yep. even if she even if she draws the. Uh, a panic pilot's not a big deal. Panic, but yeah. I was thinking about the stun pilot, though. Oh, yeah. Ray, like, Ray does enjoy just, like, th going over obstacles and not caring because she has all the mods she could ever need passively. So Absolutely. what do you think the play is here for Vinny? Vinny, right now... I, I liked your idea of turning away and starting to use the bombs... My the only issue with that is if the fight starts to move in a different direction, it takes those star fortresses a long time to get turned around and get to yeah. get in the fight. So I know, like personally, I'm I'm just tempted to let let Vinny turn or bank to the left. You're gonna end up hitting something. You're gonna hit the cloud probably no matter what. Yeah. Well, she does. She does still have the stop and pattern analyzer. True that. Uh, no pattern. Yeah, maybe on the stop. Yeah, I, I think the only other. Oh, they have a lot of red moves. Ooh, she could one hard. Ooh. You right. Uh, before the check difficult, and she would actually, oh, she has to land it, so she, there's no way she could have landed it. But it does get around obstacles and stuff, so you can go over the obstacle, but you have to fully execute. Looks like Reese, a little bit of flip flop in here. What do you want? Yeah, I think he's also do? deciding on what Zam cards he wants to put. So Zam is currently on Asajj. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a sense trigger on Ray. Two bank to Two the bank left. Two bank to the left. Hmm. That is... Okay, so, so he's prioritizing... Prioritizing getting rid of the stress, but I'm not sure that the two bank makes it over just because of, of Lando kind of being in the spot where the corner of the base would go. It's close, though. Yeah. He's going to drop that concussion bomb, or launch that concussion bomb, sorry. 
Uh, Vinny busting a stop. Has pattern analyzer taking the double focus. And you see Tarani there checking for a snapshot. And the stop could also be an attempt to bring Vinny into the fight next turn and lean on that defensive ability while Ray gets into a better position. Yeah, very true. There, I saw a 5k. 5k. We were pretty sure that was going to happen. You got that 5k. Easy to get over large space ships. Tarani bumps on the one bank to the left. Oh, man. She's not going to move. Oh, no. Oh, Ray's stuck. Yeah, and that means that Tarani's going to be able to shoot. All right. Oh, no. And, uh, and Tarani's uh, bullseye yeah. is on as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then we see Asajj there. Spin to force to give Ray another stress. More stress. Thank you. Oh, there we go. There's that bomb. Nice bomb, Vinny. So Lando did a little self-bump action. A couple people asking. And that bomb, that is the concussion bomb, correct? Going off. Yeah. So that means that so, we have a card slipping under the shields and a strain being taken in order to not have to flip that card upside down. Ray revealed a two bank, and because of of the location, similar to what I said, like, there just wasn't enough space for the that bank to actually fit in there. With Lando doing the self bump. Oh man, all these focus results. The lack lack of mods hurting. Yeah. Scooping up a target lock. I mean, at least at least Ray is able to do that. You got a little bit of action economy. But man, a kingdom for a focus right now. Yeah. So again, had to spend a result to get the target lock. Spending that target lock. There you I, go. You got three. There's, you could spend that. the force for four if you want to be aggressive. If you think you need to. And does. He says, I choose violence. Nice. And you know what everybody in our audience should do? They should choose violins. Donate to One City Strings. Exclamation point. Donate. All right, Tarani. So Tarani does have R5TK. And we're going to have both Lando and, and Asajj is going to focus on Ray here. Oh, oh, no. That is massive. Massive. But she's got a target lock. Oh, she, she, gets a lock. Do, she, <laughs> she gets a do over. <laughs> Hit That's crit. Better. Yep. Much better. And not in Ray's <laughs> arc. So that crit is uh that crit is gonna be hitting the, the hull. And that's half. Yep. What do we get on the crit? We got a damaged engine. Uh that's not too big of a deal. She doesn't really use turns. So a quick note, remember, a uh, reminder about Corsella, you have to fully execute the blue maneuver in order for that ability to go off. Here's Lando looking for a big swing. There's a crit out there. Might choose to use the ability now. Yeah, he is. Definitely Lando. Oh. No focus <laughs> results in sight. So just... Just the one. And the crit does go through. Because Ray does not have any force. And that is a fuel leak. Ooh. 
That could end up mattering. You gotta watch that out. That really matter with 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 BT one rolling around. Oh. That definitely matters. <laughs> <laughs> beep boop beep boop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tarani does have a Vinny in the arc. Going to get an opportunity to shoot. That's one hit. And I think Ray's going to be taking okay. another damage, right? Because of Tarani's ability? Yeah, so yeah, he's just checking for Vinny, uh, uh, Vinny's ability to see if um, if he, if uh, Tarani is in Ray's mobile arc. Okay. Hmm. He's going to have to spend the added focus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Reed is just explaining what what Tarani does. He says, "Oh, that's horrible." <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. That it happens. It happens. Oh no, he does have range on an arc on uh, Tarani. All right, Vinny, looking to do some work. Licking his chops. All right, here's the roll. Three dice. And you got to focus out there. That's two hits. Oh, he's, yeah, he's changing. Yeah. This should be a hit, yeah. And a double blank out by Tarani. Tarani's down to one. All right. Can the... Yeah, I was going to say, I hope he uses Paige here to rotate his arc this round. Sure does. But that gets him range two. Oh, wow. What an excellent play there. Mm. So he only needs one damage here to put down to Ronnie. Not going to get it. Not it. Focus blank. On that veteran turret gunner means that Tarani gets to live. And this is going to trigger. Oh, no. You better mean business. At the end of the engagement phase, if the car is face down and you are in the enemy firing arc, which, which uh, Osage is in the back arc of Ray, you get to uh, recover two charges. And now the bonus attack set up uh, that is possible with Zam Wesso is now set up and ready to go. Yeah, that could be really nasty to proc that fuel leak. Mm-hmm. Ray could definitely go down this round, this next round. Yeah, I mean, Ray, Ray yes. is is the linchpin in this list, right? Like, once, once it goes down, Vinny has some fight because of the defensive ability. But... Um, now, the the one agility is really what just allows you to to burn down those those uh, resistance bombers in the glorious last Jedi fashion. <laughs> yeah, they definitely do go down in a blaze of glory. Mm-hmm. Very cinematic. <laughs> yeah, un unlike Ray, Lando doesn't care which way he shoots. He can shoot sideways, at the back. He doesn't care. He the all of his modification comes from, uh, doesn't care about which way he's shooting. But Ray, she really wants to shoot out of the front arc, even if, even though she is a turreted ship. So, You're a turret, Ray. You know, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I shoot forward. <laughs> uh, so she's gonna need to turn around if she wants to use her to, to use her to, to use her to the full extent. does have those three sloops still available due to the raised Millennium Falcon title. That's right. You can do bust those sloops when you have two stress. Once you get the third one, you're not able to. 
Uh, but then that's why you have Corsella on board to be able to clear out that stress, that bucket of stress. Throw it out the window. Yeah, but if um, if Freeze is careful here and um, knows what to do, can block that three sloop with Lando still. Mm-hmm. I think. It, it looks it looks possible. I'm in. I believe, James. <laughs> and as everybody's watching, want to remind you that we have a total of four games today. Top 16. We'll be getting you that top eight after this one. Uh, but we have more premier level X-Wing happening next weekend. Um, William is going to be traveling down to Texas for the Lone Star Open. And... Um, He's going to be covering that event in person. I'm not going to be able to be there because I'll be busy graduating from uh, my master's degree. What, what? Uh, assuming I turn in the last little bit of homework. I guess, I guess technically, if I didn't do any homework this week, I'd probably pass all my classes still. But I probably don't want to do that. Seems like a bad idea. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, to, to get in that master's degree and being able to take a little bit of a break. Uh, but Will is going to be going to be holding down the fort uh, with James on Friday and Saturday. And uh, James is going to be still still remote. Um, but we're, we're trying that for the first time, having a, a remote producer for an in-person online event, uh, in-person event. And um, if everything works out the way that we're hoping it does, on Friday and Saturday, then I will probably be remoting in with Will on that Sunday. Yeah, we've already kind of tried it with the uh, GSP. Uh, what was it called? Um, the, the showdown. Showdown. Yeah, thank you. We did the GSP showdown where I did a very similar thing. So it's proven to work. We're just going to have to see how it works with an actual live event in person. It's, it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. Yeah. I think the biggest wild card is going to be the internet connection. I know we're getting a hard line. That's what I was told. Um, but the 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 speed of that hard line will, will definitely determine some things. Because sometimes, you know, you, you know, you can have a crappy hard line. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's that's gonna, I, I think that's what you're right. I think it's all going to depend on the hard line or the internet connection. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And there's a sloop. Who does dar does dodge Lando's arc? Uh, Tarani uh, checking that snapshot. You could see that Ray was still in range. Asajj did bump on Tarani, so no action there. Oh. Here's a Ray's gonna put down Tarani. Gonna try. Can you get it? Initiative kill coming in. Two. Uh, you need three to guarantee. Let's see what you get. Oh, okay. He used contraband on Tarani to get a focus. Okay, cool. Okay. I missed that, sorry. No worries. <laughs> and not looking great. <laughs> oh my goodness. So he's going to spend Rose to get a lock and spend the lock. They spend the lock right away on, it would be on, uh, yep, that's Finn. Is he going to reroll all three dice? I think you rule all three for sure. I do appreciate him going slow with that because it is a complex interaction. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> that is crazy. Oof. And he's got one force. He's gonna he's, leave it. he's leaving it. Oh, yeah. I I don't think there's a way to. Uh, 
That's rough. I, I think he should have done Rose again, though. But... You mean, yeah, if he wasn't going to, to do anything. And here is Tarani fighting back. Three oh, hits. Man. Seems like a sad exchange. Only a single force available. And Ray's taking two more. Oof. Saj helping out as well. We might see Ray go down this turn. Target lock getting put out. And here is Asajj. No force available for Ray shenanigans. But she... Asajj force. <laughs> that's right. Asajj has got it. There's three hits out there. This could be and it. He's both... He needs two of eights here. Got oh. him. Ray so goes down. That is 100 to 30. Reese in the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's eight. Rip, rip, Ray. And here we go. Lando looking mad now. Vinny is strained. Isn't Vinny strained? So it just hit crit, right? Yeah. All right, cool. They got it. They got it. 100 to 30. And that is it. <laughs> XY in the chat says, My parents always told me gambling is bad. I should have listened. <laughs> this is in uh, in reference to his points right now. <laughs> it happens. It happens. You know what? Better better on pretend, you know, on, on this G, G, or pretend GSP money than on real money. <laughs> Vinny trying to get some damage into Lando. One hit, one evade. Uh, I did see the announcement earlier from Ravencat announcing that Team Japan... Uh, I know that this is not an XTC stream, but I'll go ahead and mention it because I love my Ravencat fam out of Japan. Uh, but it was awesome to see a Japanese team participating. Hey, three and three? Not bad. That's respectable. There, There's a lot of tough teams out there. All right, and are we going to get some Lando-ish triggers? You should thank me. Asajj well, no, was... He would, have, he would have had to flip that before. It's at the end of engagement, isn't it? <coughs> end of engagement uh, is going to trigger. He's in a firing arc, and he can shoot. Correct? Did I miss something? Yeah, he's good. You may fire yeah, already. I, I, I'm just used to it being on Lando and just freaking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asajj here getting some shots, and that is one hit. And spends the force for two. On a one agility ship, guaranteed at least one damage. And you're getting two. So the Star Fortress has a single shield left. And nine hull. So ten more points of damage need to be put in to Vinny uh, before they go. Oh, they go down. 
Got to gotta plink away. But this this feels pretty... Um, and with Ray going down, with, like being the first one that goes down, she's she's the end game piece in this type of list. But maybe maybe are we underestimating Vinny? Um, she could definitely take out Tarani here. Um, she could launch another concussion at Lando, and too hard away. Mm hmm. Or she's too hard in. You think? it's I'd be tempted to stop to be completely honest to see if you can get Tarani and uh, an Asajj in front oh yeah that's true uh, but the, the, the problem, problem is it's, you're on the cloud so you're hitting it again and losing the action so that's well you're not getting an action anyway You're not? Uh, is... pattern, pattern analyzer is before the check difficulty step. Ah, yes. All right. Well, then, then that do it. Stop. <laughs> yeah, but but Tarani's gonna get a snapshot. Oh, snapshot is range two. You're right. Yeah, she's not bullseye right now, which this this may be a good good opportunity to, to proc it. We got 28 minutes and change left on the clock here. Um, we are going to go ahead and take a peek at what other games. It looks like I'm getting some updates that some other games are wrapped up. So we'll give you some updates there. Let's go take a peek. So it looks like Sven Punga versus Connor Holmes is complete with Sven moving on to the top eight so we'll go ahead and update our our um, our bracket accordingly oops gotta lock that down so that game is over we also have Daniel Lim aka Isovain versus Tor Walden and Tor uh, winning that one, two hundred to twenty-one. I got that set up. I believe those are the only games that have been reported out at the moment. And we'll keep you guys updated as uh, as things progress. It looks like Vinny did stop. Yeah, she did. Uh, and did Tarani did do a snapshot for two blinks. Okay, that's good. It looks like on the cloud, we did end up getting a strain as well. Ooh, going to see that bear roll. That's one of those situations where you you wish you wish that Tarani had gone just a little bit faster, but yeah, that barrel roll is gonna get you in a sweet spot. Cannot be shot more than once in that current location. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> that fit? <laughs> the barrel roll, medium base barrel rolls. Telling you, nobody knows how that works. <laughs> Here, here's yeah, your lit. here's your visual reference, everybody. L Lando being safe here, and uh, gonna probably boost out. Oh, he's gonna stay. <laughs> I will not go quietly into the night. And it is in range. I'm surprised why he didn't just boost. He wanted. To, he said he wanted shots. He wanted shot. Okay, fair. He said, I want dice on. Dice. <laughs> I like it. That is half on Lando. Wow. Mm-hmm. 160. Mm. Ty, here's, a, here's the thing. It, uh, Ty right now isn't super, like, even though Ray went down points-wise, he's got a chance. So as long as he keeps fighting, keep picking away at the points, um, and of course, 
Vinny out of all the Star Fortress is the most survivable one. So if you can keep try to hold on to that last shield, that would help. Oh, but tarani has got something else to say about that one. Hit hit crit rolled. Uh -huh. And because of that strain, that means that no dice are rolled for Vinny. But Vinny is able to add the focus result from their ability. Spend the focus, turn it into an evade. But it is still taking a shield and a crit. And the crit on that bomber is a... Oh, no. A blinded pilot. That's okay. That just means that he's only using all those focuses for defense then. I mean, yes, but you brought Vinny to use. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It just feels sad. Like, you need that offensive punch. Yeah, and Ray did not do it. <laughs> no, she refused. Asajj getting, getting mean there. Looks like we got hit, hit, crit. Looking for the roll. Adds a focus oh, result. And takes a crit still. Okay. Only takes one. Wow. But you, you, you can't use it on offense, so. This is very true. Direct hit. Taken two there. Oh, man. Lando hasn't even gone yet. <laughs> My turn. Lando will have three dice because of that Lando Millennium's Falcon. You can see there's a stress token on the top right side of that bomber. Hit crit. Look at all these crits, guys. Oh, my uh, gosh. Yeah. And, and all three of those are crits. That's BT1. He's setting them up. <laughs> and here it comes. Hit Crit loose stabilizer. And n next crit is a damaged engine. Oh man, the turns on this thing already aren't great. They just <laughs> yeah. got a whole lot worse. Guess I'm going straight. <laughs> mm hmm. Unfortunately, that's going to put him right in Tarani's bullseye snapshot. It sure is. All right. James, give me... Oh, here we go. Let's get this shot. One crit. Single crit rolled on that side arc. Is that it? The tor Oh no, that's against Lando? Yeah. Ah. You got one hole on Tarani. Well, he says the the veteran. That's true, that's true, that's true. All right, here it comes veteran turret gunner. All right. Come on, Vinny. In Come Vinny on, we Vinny. trust. <laughs> Goodness. No! <laughs> it's so sad. Mm. <laughs> ben, you gotta roll dice. Hate to see it. Ty, the, the 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 red dice not agreeing with Ty today. It's not meant to be, apparently. <laughs> So he's just reading through all his crits. <laughs> it's like, well, so what can I do is the question. Yeah, you, you tell me what I can do, Damage Jet. Come on. <laughs> all right. Give me two seconds, James. I'll be right back. All, all right? right. Yeah, this game has just not gone great for the resistance. I think at every, at every round, maybe except for the first... Losing those four shields was kind of kind of sad, uh, but he did do a good amount of damage to Tarani in that first engage. But yeah, every round after that, it's just gone downhill and downhill.
I mean, yeah, everyone knows the bomber's not great, but he got here the top 16 out of over 100 players. So, I mean... Uh, good point, Marsh. Good point. <laughs> All right. I am back. I was looking for my shoes. I can't find them. My shoes? Yeah, somebody stole my shoes. I bet, I bet it was my daughter. My daughter loves untying my shoes and hiding them. <laughs> The the joy of having children, Dion. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> but man, when when you're like, man, I need my shoes, and you can't find them, you're like running around the house. <laughs> you, you go, man, child, why? I gave them away yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did say that. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Man. Well, now this one this one is gonna be an uphill battle. And I think I heard you I think I heard you saying, James, um that you know, Ty, even though this he's probably gonna lose this this one. Um he says, I'm not gonna concede, but uh Yeah. I'm gonna make this hard for you. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I'm not stopping. It's, you know, he's he was able to bring uh, a Star Fortress all the way to the top cut, which, you know, props. Oh, man, Asajj is popping around the other side. <laughs> Five, 5K much? There we go. And just to, to Ronnie, just like, hey, you haven't killed me yet, so I guess I'm just going to keep doing my thing over here. He's probably going to bear roll to Ronnie because he doesn't, he doesn't want to take that concussion bomb and die. Mm. Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. Good point. Yep, and there it is, reaching for the roll. Vinny's got two more hull. <laughs> He says, I may win, but I'm not going to lose any men doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Range one. Tarani trying to put the nail in the coffin for Vinny. Concussion Ooh, bomb. No targets. It. Here's the shot. Triple focus. One hit. All Looking. Right. Does, Vinny, look. does Vinny live here? No. No. Takes one damage plus Tarani's ability to Man, end right. the game. Thank you to Iso, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6 our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.